this evening we're at a campground near Lilyhammer and most of you have heard of that place because it was the site of the 94 Olympics. It's a pretty large campground, people everywhere, but we ran into an interesting group of Dutch. They're having a car rally. There's 800 people, 250 cars, and they're mostly staying in our campground, all scattered through the campground. And one of the interesting things about the this rally is, number one, you couldn't spend more than 500 euro for your vehicle. What you do with it after that is is all up to you. But every day they have to, it's a five five day uh, rally, and every day they have different assignments, and they typically go maybe. 900 kilometers a day, which for most of you would be what, 600 miles? Yeah. Sounds about right. And they had to do different things. They first went to uh, <coughs> Copenhagen. And then they went, uh, I don't know where they went yesterday, but today they're in Lilyhammer. Tomorrow they're going to, uh, here's one of them over here. Tomorrow they're going to Bergen. But today they had to have pictures them parked in a Norwegian's garage. They also had to be uh, pictures of them swimming in a Norwegian's swimming pool and dressed in a Norwegian's clothes. So that's the kind of things they do every day. So this is called the Carbage Run. Hardenberg to Oslo. Carbagerun.nl Edition 2011. Another one of them. If you can sit over Again, you cannot pay more than 500 euro for your vehicle. And of course, it wouldn't be a Dutch organization if we didn't have the wooden clogs and the tulips and the. Uh, <laughs> Very nice. I like it. Great man. Very Dutch. Very Dutch. Very Dutch. <laughs> you got everything. <laughs> Red light district. Uh, yes. The whole thing right here. Yes. The cheese. Yeah. Very nice. Yes. Beautiful. <laughs> So we also have the sheriff's car here and the police car. I guess that's what's that French? Is that one French? The police? Is that Italian? I don't know. But as you can see, there are people everywhere. And now we have the Fred Flintstone mobile. And we've got Wilma here at the wheel. They actually dress in costumes when they when they drive this down the road. Wilma in the back seat, Fred in the front. Uh, they got the whole crew painted on the. Oh, he's, he's gonna, he's gonna he's gonna put on the whole thing. Okay, now we got the whole get up. We've got Mom in her Wilma outfit. <laughs> and of course, what would it be without a totally female entry? Are you ahead? Are you the leaders? Leaders? Yes. Yes. I, I heard you're the best mechanics. Yeah. <laughs> but we are winning this rally. We are, we are we have all the, the, the points. All the points. Great. This is the girly side. And we see what? We got pink and polka dots, and we got the girl names on it. And then when we go to the other side, we got the uh, the manly side over here. 
Got the flames on this side. Very cool. So it's unbelievable this evening here in Lillehammer. I would say it's probably even in the low 70s tonight. Almost no wind at all. And Babe, of course, the queen of the playground, knows all the girls on the playground. This is her friend Emily. Emily's Norwegian. She is, I think, nine. So just perfect for Mackenzie. They're having a great time out here.